Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the properties of a parallelogram. Okay? So before we go to the properties of a parallelogram, um, let me just remind you about the different parts that we will be discussing for today. Okay po? And these are the parts that is um, included in any quadrilateral. So firstly, let's uh, say, let me use a different thing. Okay, say we have this. Say we have this quadrilateral, okay? Okay, so when we talk about sides, when it comes to quadrilaterals, okay? These are just simply our sides made up from, for a while, let me just uh, get another ink, made from vertices. So for if we have this figure, this would be one of our sides, okay? So this is one side of our quadrilateral and another side of a quadrilateral. Okay, these are made up of different connections, the distances between two vertices, two adjacent vertices, okay? So, again, we have our sides, okay? The next one would be, of course, these points, which is we, we will call them our vertices, okay? So, these are, this is our sides and vertices. The next um, part that we will be recalling would be our angles. Angles are just simply the opening of the two sides, two adjacent sides of our given quadrilateral. And it's just mainly on the vertices. Okay, so this would be an angle also, another angle, and another angle here. Okay? And then the, la the next one would be our diagonals. Diagonals are just simply the distance, just like our sides, it's the distance between two adjacent vertices. But when it comes to um, diagonals, these are just simply, let me just label this one angles. These are just simply um, the distance between two non-adjacent vertices. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila magkatabi. Or we can just say they are the distance between two opposite vertices. So this is our diagonal. Okay? And what else? Um, about naming naman our figure. Our figure will all, of course be named using capital letters. And in this case, this would be our... Um, quadrilateral A, B, C, T Okay, you name a quadrilateral by just simply following the flow of the letters For example, you start with D D, C, B, A Okay, so you may start anywhere But just simply remember that you need to follow the flow of the letters Kung sa kanagsimula, tuloy-tuloy Hindi pwedeng mag-cut like D, B, C, and A Okay, so you cannot cut Okay, so that would be um, some things that we must remember, okay? And then, just simply naming lang then the sides. Sides can be named by using the letters involved in the side and putting a bar above. So, this is read as, ang basa dyan is segment BC, okay? It's a line kasi. Next one, when it comes to vertices, it's just simply a point, so you can just simply write, here, for example, B, vert, vertex B. Ayan. Just simply a point. And then the next one for the angles naman, for the angles, this angle is named as angle A, sorry, capital letter tayo, A, D, and C. Wherein, you will be using all the letters involved in this given angle. Okay, for this one, dito sa side na to, ang involved letter is A. Okay? And then on this side, the involved letter is of course C. And of course, the middle one is D, which is the vertex itself. The vertex must be in the middle of the name of the angle. Okay? So that would be um, all. I, sorry, the diagonal pa pala. The diagonal of course will be named the same as the sides involving the segment. So this is segment AC. Okay? So that would be all when it comes to um, the parts and how to name our quadrilateral. Okay? So now let's proceed to our um, topic which is of course the properties of a quadrilateral. So we will proceed with property, ay parallelogram pala. We will proceed with property number 1. And according to property number 1 on any parallelogram, okay, sabi sa property number 1 is that the diagonals, the diagonals bisect the parallelogram. Okay. So, yan. Pag sinabing bisect the parallelogram, 
it simply means na it's divided into two equal parts. Yun yung concept natin ng bisection. If you are bisected, you are divided into two equal parts. Okay? So, um, let's say we have this figure. Ayan. We have this figure, this um, parallelogram. Remember po, ang parallelogram by definition is just simply, um, what do you call this? A quadrilateral with two sets of parallel I'm oh, sorry, mali spell ko na parallel parallel sides okay, ibig sabihin yung opposite sides sa parallel okay, in this case yan parallel yung mga yan okay, yung parehas ng symbol, of course they go on the same side, okay sabi daw dito, the diagonals bisect the figure or the parallelogram into two equal parts in this case, kung you are bis if you are bisected you will be creating a triangle tama ba? You will notice you have a triangle 1 here and another triangle here. Your triangle 2. If you are bisected, you have the same measurement. Okay? So, for us to see that clearly, let's go to GeoGebra. Okay? And let's try to create a parallelogram. Ayan. Let's try to create a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram by definition. Remember po, a parallelogram will always have... Um, Pairs, two pairs actually of parallel sides. Yan. Yan, parallel yan. Why? Kasi if you will notice, if I extend that, they will never meet. And another set of parallel sides here, if you will notice, they will never meet as well. Even if you zoom out uh, further. Okay? So, let's uh, undo that. Yung ating parallelism. Okay? So, what we need to do now is again, we need to prove by example. Okay? that this figure will be divided into two equal um, triangles. Okay? So, let me create our diagonal here. Yan. Diagonal here. Okay? And let's create another diagonal here. Ayan. So, we have two triangles now. You will notice. And if I try to find the area of that one, definitely it would be the same. Bakit? Kasi they have the same dimensions. Yun lang naman yung aim natin eh. To see whether they have the same dimensions. And of course, any figure with the same um, area and same look, yung para sila na itsura, they would definitely be the same figure kasi they have the same area. Okay? And even if you might say, um, Sir, may mga cases naman ang area ng square is the same as an area ng triangle. Yes, there would be cases like that. But for us to prove further that our figure is the same, let's check yung measure ng sides. Ayan. This is 6 and this is 4.47. You will notice ito parehas dito and another parehas. And lastly, the middle is the same. Okay? So, yun nga. It proves our point that the given will always be um, similar. Okay? The two triangles will always be similar or they would always be the same. And that is property number one. You will have a diagonal in a parallelogram and it will be divided into two equal triangles. Or it will bisect the parallelogram. Okay? Let's go now to our third property. Ay, second pala. Property number two. In property number 2, it is stated there that, for a while, okay, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. The opposite sides, sides of a parallelogram, parallelogram are congruent. Yan. Congruent daw yung opposite sides niya. Okay? So, if you would have, say, this figure, Okay, um, yan, this one. Parallelogram yan, okay. Yung opposite sides daw niya is congruent. So, this one is congruent to this side, and this side is also congruent to this side. Opposite po. Pag sinabi natin opposite in a figure, yung nasa kabilang side, ito yung opposite. Pag sinabi natin ng mga adjacent, yan, ito yung katabi niya. So, again, we are talking about opposite, yung nasa kabilang side, Okay. So, let's uh, try to prove on using our figure. Yan. If our property is correct. So, we have this figure. It's still a parallelogram. Kasi hindi naman natin binago. Ang sabi lang dito, supposed to be that the opposite um, sides must be congruent. Ayan. You notice, 4.7, 4.7. Um, 4.47. 4.47. And 6 and also 6. So, definitely, they are the same. 
Okay, so therefore, it proves that the point na kapag may quadrilateral ka, may it be say, ano ha? Diba, remember po guys that the square is also a parallelogram. Tama po ba? O, C, parehas po. And even if you will create a rectangle, ang rectangle po is still a parallelogram, you will have the same properties. Okay? And I want you to remember this one, that the properties of a parallelogram is applicable to all kinds of parallelogram. Starting from the measly rectangle, and up until rhombus, and up until our square. Yan. So, ibig sabihin lang guys, all the properties that we will be discussing today will be applicable to this tree. Okay? So, you have to remember them all. Kasi applicable yan sa lahat. Okay? Now, let's go to our third property. Okay, the third property states that, property number 3, states that the opposite angles are congruent. Sabihin yung opposite angles daw congruent. So, if we will have, say, another figure like so, um, for a while, yan, like this one, yan. if we will try to find the measure of the angles, they would be the same. Ibig sabihin, kung ito yung parallelogram mo, okay, definitely a parallelogram, this one, say, ito ay theta, kung yan ay 6 or theta, this is also theta as well. And if this is beta, and this is also beta, ibig sabihin lang yan, denotation lang yan, guys. Na kung ito ay say 120 degrees, definitely ito 120 rin. And the same goes for the other opposite angles. Okay po? And oh, of course, we will only have one pair of opposite angles. Ito lang, at ito. Wala nang iba. Okay? So, let's try to prove our um, claims using a... Ito, yan. This is a parallelogram po, right? So, if you will try to find the measure of the angles of this one, yan. No, 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 for a while. Let me undo this one. Okay, let's try to find the angles of this. Yan. And then another one here. And another one here. Yan. And last one here. Yan. If you will notice that the opposite angles are congruent. Itong angle na nandito sa upper right, ay upper left, is 90. So therefore, Doon sa kabilang side niya, 90 rin. The same goes, okay? And again, kung yan ay quadrilateral or parallelogram, they would have that property all throughout. Even if your figure would go like this, yan. Pansinin nyo, this is 75.96 and this is another 75.96. 104.04, same, 104.04. Again, this simply proves our property number 3, that Opposite angles are congruent. Okay? Kasi may some cases na baka isipin nyo, Sir, bakit naman ang square? Hindi naman opposite yun. Pero parehas pa rin. Ayan nga yung point ko, guys. That, again, yan. Ang square, sir, ayan. Hindi naman opposite, pero parehas. Check nyo, sir. Pero if you will check also, yung opposite pa rin niya is congruent. Yun lang kailangan nating i-claim lagi. Opposite angles are always congruent. Okay? So, yeah. Now, let's go to our next property. Okay. Property number 4. Okay. Property number 4 states that any two consecutive consecutive angles are supplementary. Yeah. Okay, review lang natin ha. Pag sinabing supplementary, sum is 180 degrees yan. Dapat 180 daw yung sum niya. Ibig sabihin, kung meron, kung meron akong 70 degrees, para maging 180, dapat dagdagan ko ng 100, sorry, not 180, 110 degrees. This is supplementary, guys. The sum must always be 180 degrees, okay? So, if you will have this, say, um, angle, um, parallelogram, say, we have this, yan. We will have this. If this is say 60 degrees and this is um 120 and another um 120 degrees here. And this is 60. If you will try to check, 120 plus 60 is 180. 120 plus 60 is 180. 120 plus 60 is 180. And all throughout you're given, the sum will always be 180. Proving my point in this case, yan. 
So, igawa tayo ng, ano, ng parallelogram ulit. Yan. If we will try to check, 97.13 plus 82.87, if you will try to use your calculator, the sum of this one would be 180 degrees. And same goes, ito naman, itong dalawa. 82.87 plus 97.13, still 180 degrees. Proves my point na kapag meron kang um, parallelogram, the op consecutive angles are supplementary. Or we can say na adjacent angles. Okay? So, anong point natin dito? Pag nakita ka ng parallelogram, isipin mo na agad, oh, these two angles na magkatabi, 180 yan, kahit anong mangyari. So, ibig sabihin, guys, even if you do not know the measure of the angle, okay, even if you do not know, you can quickly assume that the sum of these two angles, let's uh, show the label, the sum of angle A and B would be 180 degrees. Ganun lang yun. Quick, quick claims yun. Ibig sabihin, hindi nyo na kailangan tanongin. Bakit? Kasi it's a property. Okay? Let's go now to our property number 4. Property number 5 pala. Property number 5. That um, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Again, the diagonals of a parallelogram Lelogram bisect each other. Ayan. So, pag sinabi lang natin bisect each other again, it divides itself into two. So, ang sabi lang dito, guys, pro, if you would know English, okay, kung alam nyo, marunong kayo mag-English, pag sinabi natin yung sa statement na yan, kung meron akong parallelogram, okay, at meron akong diagonals, okay, diagonals, Ibig sabihin, they bisect each other. Okay, nahati niya yung isa't isa sa dalawa. Kung ito ay 6, ito 6. Kung ito ay, say, 8, ito rin ay 8. Nahati niya lang yung isa't isa sa dalawa. Okay, parang isipin nyo may nag-clash na dalawang swordsman, dalawang samurai na paghataw nila ng espada nilang magkasabay, parehas na si nahati yung kanilang espada. So that's the concept of this one. Okay? They will bisect each other. And proving my claim on this one, Let's have our figure. Ayan. Gawa tayo ng, ano, ng, quad, uh, ng diagonals. And of course, this you will see that the diagonals will be divided in the middle dito. Okay? And let's try to create a segment on that. Ayan. So, we have a segment now. Ha? Let's try to check. Is our claim true? Totoo ba yung claim natin? Let's find the distance. Ayan. The distance between this one is 2.66. 3.01 3.01 and 2.66 which is of course correct nahati nga yung diagonals into two parts okay so next i think that is easy enough let's go maybe we have another property okay so i think that would be all this is the basic properties of any parallelogram now of course in our parallelogram meron tayong iba't ibang uri you will remember meron tayong tinatawag na our rectangle Yung parang box talaga. Of course, we have our square. You're familiar naman with the square. And we have this rhombus, which is, um, we could consider na, ano, na it's a nakatagilid. It's a slanted square. Okay? So, each given parallelogram will have its own property. And we will be discussing that on a separate video. So, I hope that you got the five properties. Again, a reminder. Lahat ng properties ng parallelogram will be applicable to all the kinds of parallelogram. And ano-ano ba yung kinds of parallelogram? We have the rectangle. Rectangle. We have the square. And we have the rhombus. Okay? So that would be all. If you would have any other questions, you can chat me in our chat box. So you can view the video again. Thank you everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.